Hey guys, Courtney Marland here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a full A to Z walkthrough of the entire client journey and onboarding process I built out for um, my agency, Centrosite. Um, but in the process, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I think about systems, how we build systems um, at Systems and Profit for other agencies as well. Um, and I'm gonna take you through all of that. I'm gonna show you all the tools that we use. Uh, we use Close as a CRM, we use Lucid for systems planning and stuff. Uh, we use Zapier to kind of connect everything together and Asana for our project management. So I'm literally gonna take you through the whole process and you're probably at the moment watching like a quick walkthrough animation speed up of the whole thing. So again, this is the onboarding journey but it also applies to how to build systems and all the rest of it. Um, this is probably the biggest thing that I think has helped us in the agency save hours and hours and hours of work, um, but also just blaze through everything. And the entire Lucid document, which basically is a, a flowchart of the whole system that we built out, is going to be available as a PDF. I'm just gonna put it in the description below. So um, you can follow through with the video, but if you wanna build something similar, um, or model yours after this, you can literally just download it directly below and you'll have access to that. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, so what you're looking at here is Close. Um, now Close is the CRM that we use. Um, there's many others, there's, um, you know, there's Zoho, there's HubSpot, there's lots of them. We've used a lot of them, I've settled on Close. Um, and what I'm doing here is looking at a test. So this is potentially a client. Um, and I'm gonna kind of show you through that. Then Asana is what we use for project management inside the agency. So I'm gonna show you how we kind of onboard a customer. Um, Zapier, I'm gonna show you this full 25-step uh, Zap that onboards all of them, um, as well as our actual onboarding funnel that the clients go through. Um, but before I do that, I wanna talk about systems thinking. And so what you're looking at here is our client or customer journey uh, from the sales call all the way up through to offboarding. If a customer ever gets there, which they usually don't, but if they do. Um, and really this is very important because the one thing I'm trying to show you here is I've built a system in the business for every single part of what we do at the agency. Literally every single part has a system built in it, um, which is probably the most important thing. Um, and that's what we teach people to do at Systems and Profit. Um, so if you wanna book in a completely free call with me, not someone from my team, but with me, um, it's also gonna be in the description below. Um, I'm kind of just getting started with this content again. So really what I'm trying to do is just get feedback. So um, nothing to sell you, just, just a free strategy call. Anyways, um, let's look at it. So if you've never used Lucid before, um, essentially the process that I'm using to build this chart is it's called BPMN, Business uh, Project Management Notation. Um, so you can Google it. Um, there's quite a few YouTube tutorials and things because basically each one of these shapes uh, means something. Now I've taken BPMN and customized it to kind of do what I want. And so you'll notice some things are in green, some things are in red. Green means we've built it and it's working. A red means we are either building it or I'm not happy with it and it's scheduled to be rebuilt in the future. Um, but anyways, so this is kind of some of our sales call stuff, but I'm gonna skip all of that and just go straight to the onboarding. So what I'm gonna first do is give you a 13 foot view of the entire system um, built out here. And then I'm gonna kind of show you this in practice. Okay, so uh, the first thing is obviously the client signs a contract. Once they've signed the contract, they are ready to be onboarded. At that point, the salesperson, whoever's taking the sales call, um, submits a activation form. Now, uh, this, it could just be a Google form, um, it could be a spreadsheet, you could do it manually. Um, inside of Close, let's pretend that this is a customer. Um, and you can see, you know, that they came from Facebook. Um, it's me closing the call. It's a central site customer. Um, it's $80,000 a month. We actually have this little new activation form that I built out here. So we can kind of see who's closing this deal, the brand name, the contract type, the MRR, the ad spend and minimum term length. Um, and so this is the form, but you could very easily do this inside of a Google form or a type form, something like that. I've just chosen to do it here. So there's some form of input, which is a form. Uh, it then creates a very big card in Asana with all the steps to onboard them. After that, it also creates a customer journey card um, with some CX. CX stands for customer experience results. Um, it sets up a results section. It adds them to our newsletter. Um, it also updates all the leads. It kind of updates them as a customer. It sends a message to the entire team saying, hey, we just got a new customer. Everyone can celebrate and, and be happy. Um, and it also sends an email to them, which takes them to the funnel where they go through the whole process. Um, and then at the end of their onboarding, they um, book in a kickoff call with us. Now again, every agency is different. And so I'm not gonna dive through all of this. Uh, for example, the customer experience journey card and the customer experience results section. This is stuff that we've built inside our agency that basically ensures that we always get results, that we're always in line with what the client wants. Um, and it's why we're such a, Central Side is such a highly coveted agency and uh, we almost never lose clients. But anyways, so I'm not gonna skip over that part. 
Um, again, also with the newsletter, we have an internal newsletter for our customers uh, because we use it to cross sell products and things like that. Um, so your agency might not have that or need that. Um, but again, this is just our process. Um, and again, just to explain how this works is uh, the things with a hand is manual. In other words, it's not automated. Things with the cogwheels is automated. Um, all of these things are mini steps underneath the major sections in blue. Um, the black represents which tool uh, we're using. And then the circle basically represents something is complete. So you can see here it says setup is complete. And then inside of Lucid, each one of these little things uh, is just a note that I made to myself. And then uh, these yellow triangle things represent the start and end of a sequence. So you can see this, the trigger to start the onboarding is when they sign the contract. And the onboarding should be completed uh, when they book their kickoff call. Okay, and then here we have all the different steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take you through this as if you were a customer. So this is our onboarding uh, project in Asana and we have new in progress and complete, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly going to use our little test uh, customer here and I'm gonna say, uh, this is, you know, test for YouTube. Uh, the contract type, let's say that it's a flat retainer and it's uh, 2,500 a month and the ad spend is going to be say 5% that we bill. Okay, the minimum turn length, let's say we got a whale uh, and we hit six months. Okay. Now, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to submit this activation form. So you can see that that, you know, just got submitted in here. Now, you'll notice that this is all empty. Um, it's going to start creating stuff in here. Um, and so what I'm going to just do is show you the Zapier that's doing. So there's a trigger here when that activation form is submitted. Um, then what it's doing is it's basically using some Google Sheet stuff uh, to find the IDs of the people involved um, and finding their names in Asana and stuff. And then it's basically creating one massive task. And as you can see, again, I'm so glad this is actually caught on video, but can you see the little subtasks are going up? Three, four, five, and so on and so on and so on. Um, and that's basically creating all of these tasks. And that is basically what you're seeing here in Zapier. It's all these subtasks uh, being created, right? Taking them through the entire onboarding process. So you can see all of these subtasks are basically creating. So I'll, I'll show you those just now. Um, and then it's getting into the customer experience stuff. So these two are for that. Again, that's for a very separate video. Um, I don't wanna cover that now, I just wanna do onboarding. Um, the, the person would already exist inside of our email software, we use ConvertKit, um, because they would have booked the discovery call. So when they book a discovery call with us, we have an entire pre-discovery call sequence of emails and stuff that goes out, which ensures that we have some of the highest closing rates you'll ever see inside an agency model. Um, but anyway, so they would already exist there. So we're just tagging them that they're now a customer. Uh, the final things that it's doing is it's just updating the lead. So inside of close, it would have updated them that they are now a customer um, and it does a few other background stuff. Uh, the last thing that it's also doing is, where's that Zapier? Is it's just sending a message. Um, we use Google Workspace for, or G Suite for um, our Google Docs drive, all the rest of it. So it's just sending a message to all of us saying it's a new client. Uh, it was closed by whoever is the lead owner. So it was closed by Courtney um, for this amount. And so everyone can kind of celebrate and we have uh, some internal stuff that we do there. Okay, so now let's look at the onboarding card itself. So if you have a look, basically, you know, test for YouTube, that's a client. Um, it's assigned it to whoever closed the deal. So I closed the deal, that's why it's assigned it to me. So you can see everything sitting to me. Again, uh, what I'm trying to do here is every agency is different. Um, we work with clients, you know, doing massive numbers at this point. And so we also have a very, very high closing rate. Um, and we're picky with the clients that we accept. So we have a very in-depth onboarding procedure here. Your agency might not be at this stage and this might be way too complicated for you, but the process would still be the same. Um, you might not even use a signer for your internal work management, that's fine. Um, what I'm just trying to show you here is the systemized approach in terms of how we've built a system around a task that used to be extremely repetitive. It used to take us ages. And to be honest, that's the idea behind systems and profit is we build systems which are automated, they're excellent, they work, and we make profit from it, right? And that's literally what we do. Um, and that is just applied and learned in Centrosite. So the point is to literally, I think this is like the 10th time I've built an onboarding process, literally. Um, and so the point is to build it, test it with clients, spin it up and then give it to you guys um, in videos like this and stuff. Anyways, continuing on. Um, so again, uh, we obviously at this point they would sign the contract. So you know, we're attaching the PDF. Um, we're now gonna send the invoice to them. Um, some clients we do a one call close where we'll send the invoice and get paid on the call. Um, again, it depends on the size of the client. You're not gonna get a one call close on like a 12,000 uh, MRR. It's just not gonna happen um, unless you either have pre-warmed them up or you have some contact with them before, but usually it's just not gonna happen. Um, so we have that task sitting here. 
Uh, again, there's a great, great book. Um, I can't remember the name. Um, I can maybe throw it up, but it's basically about customer experience. And we have like a welcome certificate that goes to them. Um, and so that's just something that we do for our clients. Um, then uh, we have different account managers who manage clients um, because we're at scale. So we just decide who's going to be the person doing the service delivery. Confirm that the form has been completed. Um, I'll show you that just now. Um, then we, at our agency central site, we basically do Facebook and Google ads. So um, of course we're getting access to Google. Um, we are getting access to all their Facebook stuff, analytics, optimize, etc. cetera. Uh, Centraflow is the name that we've given for our process of getting results for our customers. Again, um, many more videos and stuff on that that I can kind of go through, but that's basically that. Um, and we use Drive obviously for storage. Um, and so the last couple of things is to confirm payment received. Uh, with the accountant and with our billing and to do the final deal update and the final deal update is basically to kind of take this and mark it as one and then you know save it and that will kind of come in as an opportunity one and then as a sales agent that's basically going to show up hey this month courtney closed x amount of sales and then obviously we have we have some commission and, and stuff like that that all exists there okay so i'm just going to delete that right now the next thing that this does is it also sends out an email to them, which basically says, welcome to Central Site. Please can you complete our onboarding process? Um, and this is essentially the onboarding funnel that you're looking at. So um, we've got what to expect with us. Um, and that's a video of me just saying welcome and what they can expect. Um, and it goes to the next step, which is basically just reminding them, hey, you know, contract an invoice. At this point, they should have already paid uh, and signed the contract, but we try to make this as systematic as possible sometimes customers just go a different route so if they do anywho we have a video here um, again no weaknesses in the system um, give us all the information that we need so um, click here to fill out a form this is going to take them to a very long onboarding form that we built out in uh, asana and this basically is again coming back to the systems and profit thinking which is build a system that can automate at scale without having to have emails backwards and forwards like literally we used to spend so much time onboarding a customer, going backwards and forwards with access to this and access to that. Now we have a fully automated system. It takes the customer quite a long time to fill it out, but at the end of that, it's done. We have everything that we need and we literally don't have to speak to them anymore um, because we can just get started, get results uh, and get paid. So we have a long form that they fill out. And again, everything is centralized. It's part of Asana. So it actually sends them to a new project that we have in here for the kickoff uh, where they basically process all that information um, and we come up with a game plan when we have the the first onboarding slash kickoff call with the client okay so that's basically what we do here then we go to the next part again this is a video on how to integrate with facebook and google um, again at, at systems uh, we basically work with so many different agencies i've worked with agencies that do website design i've worked with agencies that are doing software development i've worked with agencies doing everything and so this is specific to us but usually you do need something if it's not facebook or google it's access to their figma or access to whatever you're doing right if you're a creative agency you probably need access to all their content stuff like that um, okay then we have how sauna works so again uh, we manage all of our clients in Asana. And so Asana is a phenomenal tool, definitely would recommend it. Um, I'm not being paid to say that either, but definitely would. Um, but it's fairly complicated if you don't know what you're doing. The first time you see Asana, it can be quite daunting. So we just have a quick video that explains what it is and how to use it and stuff. And you know, the customers don't have to watch this, but we recommend that they do. Um, and then we have a final thing here, which basically just goes over um, booking in our kickoff call. And I can see that the Calendly URL here is not valid anymore. That's basically because just before this video, um, we were doing some work on it because um, I was just changing the design around. So usually this would be working. Um, but again, anywho, this is basically just a Calendly that will just allow them to book in a call with us. Um, and then we just have the final word section. And this is really just a video that pre-warms them for their process with us. Remember, the first time a client gets signed, this entire onboarding journey is your first chance to make a really good impression and make sure that the client stays with you, okay? And so this final video basically just walks them through of what they can expect. It gives them a final welcome. It takes them through the final process. Um, and anyways, at the end of all of that, at the end of all of that, um, we have a onboarding system that literally the salesperson just has to basically submit a form um, and complete these tasks, but that's about it. It's a system that works. We've as I said, it's about the 10th time that I built this. So I can't even tell you the amount of hours rebuilding this, re-recording and things. And it is a quite a big thing. Setting up the system is a big job. Um, it is, because, especially because you have to record all the videos, you have to you know, mess around, set up all the automations. But 
that's why I've given you the Lucid, which is the, the whole schematic, um, straight down below, you can download it and just copy and build it. Um, and so we literally have uh, schematics like that for every process that we do inside here. So yes, this video is about onboarding and automation, but it really is about how you can massively automate your business and scale it to new levels by implementing systems like that uh, for every part of your business, right? You know, less people, more automation, less uh, wasted time, more efficiency, and that's kind of the thinking. Um, so again, if that kind of makes sense to all of you, then um, again, this is just the onboarding process. I'm sure you saw, I have systems like this for literally everything else that we do in the business. And so uh, if you're not subscribed, do so and like the video. Um, if you like it, you'll kind of get entered into, um, I run a low budgeted advert, which basically will give away other systems and stuff for free if you like the video. So um, that's a massive bonus. Um, I'm probably gonna be making more videos about every different section in the future. Um, and again, if you want everything I just showed you for free, entirely for free, literally, um, first link in the description will just take you to a PDF download from Lucid and you can get that. Um, with that being said, um, this has been quite a, I think a really impactful video. I wish I had had this, you know, two, two three years ago when I had started. Um, it would have made a massive difference. So having said that, I'm Courtney Marlin. If you're not subscribed, do so. If you want to uh, chat one-on-one -on -one with me in a call, first link as well in the description will be a place for you to book a call with me. And um, having said that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching that video. I've gone ahead and picked out two other videos I know are gonna help you along your journey and you'll find immensely valuable. You can click on them next to this. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next videos.